Let's change up dinner. I do Asian a lot here because it goes over well. Um, but something I want to try is a ramen bowl. We were talking about it the other night and we ordered from somewhere and on the menu was different ramen bowls and I'm like, I am not paying that amount for a bowl of noodles in liquid. So I said I can make it and let's do it right here, right now. Uh, side note, this is for my vegetarians because this is completely vegetarian and um, besides the fish oil, oh well, no, not fish oil, sesame oil, it's vegan. I never do anything vegan. It's vegan and vegetarian. I made sure you can buy this brand. Um, but we're gonna start. Let me tell you what I have on my tray. I'm so excited right now. I guess you really can use any veggies, but I'm gonna go with what my family likes and what I know will work. Um, I have baby portobello mushrooms. They're washed and diced. I have carrots, celery, onion, and garlic that I'm gonna clean up. I have baby bok choy, which I'm gonna show you how to clean the proper way because just like leeks, these are full, full, full of sand. I actually have a basin right here soaking to show you. Some fresh herbs, scallions, we're going cilantro is more my feel when it comes to Asian with some scallions. And I have water chestnuts that I might add at the end. Um, and if you wanna be vegetarian, not vegan, you can always put an egg at the end, which concept was gonna be that poaching an egg, but I'm going back and forth about it right now. Liking this whole vegan thing, because I can post the recipe. Bok choy, baby bok choy. I love these. My kids eat them so well. You can buy it, clean it, and just saute it with a side degree, like you do have squirrel spinach and all that. But, big basin. See how my leaves are a little limp limpy? It's because they've been sitting out for a little bit. Big basin, cold ice water. When you cut, hold on, I gotta figure out how to do this too. I'm gonna cut the bottom very lightly the stem. But because it grows in the ground, when you peel this back, do you see that? Do you see that? It's gross. So you wanna stick it in the ice water. You just peel back the leaves. First of all, you can eat it if you want. When you get to the bottom of the next nudge, same concept, it'll kind of open. Um, you will see that there is tons of things that grow in the dirt in the ground. You don't wanna be eating that. So that part right here. Got a veg. And now we wash our greens. I use my hands, I pull, and then I put them on a paper towel. I'm gonna do it, this is how I do my bib lattice too. And a lot of my greens, when I get it home from the grocery store, I don't wait, because then so many people waste when they don't crap out their greens. Take the extra 10 minutes, clean your stuff, roll it in your paper towel, put it in your Ziploc, Ziploc, and then you have it ready to go. Work hard, works harder, not harder. But see, I'm able to clean inside each thing with my hands, towel dry them, we'll cut them up. Let's get this ramen bowl going. So once they're all clean, I use every single part of the bok choy. Um, you, some people only use the crunchy part at the end, um, but I love greens, like, and I don't waste greens. Like I use every part. Like if I, when I do beets and I roast them in the oven, I save the beet greens, um, the top, that a lot of people just throw away. Mm -mm. Clean them up, wash them, saute them. So with the bok choy, I have it all clean, just doing a nice chop, kind of on an angle, keeping the same kind of look and consistency. Now remember, this is definitely gonna cook down, so it's different than a carrot and a piece of celery about how it's gonna hold. I'm not a ramen expert, so if I do it a different way than you, doesn't mean it's wrong, it's just different. Um, I'm doing the prep into this the way I would any dish because I have a restaurant catering mentality. So um, I do it in stages, but at the same time I do it so that it's a lot easier work for me. So I'm gonna saute my veggies, make sure my broth tastes great. I'm gonna cook the ramen separate, then I'm gonna plate it up, um, and then I'm gonna garnish it. So some people might do this all in one dish, some people might not know how to do it uh, any other way than the way I show them. Then don't don't hold it to me. I don't know if it's right or wrong. I'm just going with how I feel I would make this any night of the week for dinner. I already sliced my baby portobellas. They're around this thing, so I'm sauteing them. I'm just gonna go put them over here. Fire crap. Um, but herbs. Veggie wise, since it's a veggie bowl and it's like that's the whole purpose of it. I'm gonna go on a bias, nice and thin, 
gives it that Asian feel when you cut things on an angle. See that? So, again. You know one thing I was looking at that could like really bring this together and I wish I would have picked up is some bean sprouts. Bean sprouts would have been great in this dish. Gives a nutty flavor. It just adds such good texture with ramen. I would have definitely done that. So, celery, I'm gonna do the same thing with the carrots, same thing with the onion, same thing with the garlic. Everything on an angle. And we're gonna get our pan super hot. Prep, so all my veggies, I got my stock doing sesame oil, a little bit of soy, my greens are cut up, my garnishes. And I'm gonna do it on a walk, so I'm doing my big pan. And back there, over there, is gonna be my ramen that's cooking before I add it to this broth to finish. Sesame oil is what I'm gonna use. It has a pretty strong taste, so you don't need much. Just go on light with the sesame oil. And then I'm also gonna just use a plain old avocado oil, balance it out, because I do want enough oil to coat everything. Um, but once the pan's nice and hot, putting in it, it's quick fire. These are my onions and my garlic. Breaking up the onion pieces with my hands. Once I get that sauteing, I'll add the other veggies on it. Asian moves fast, so that's why the prep helps. Once all the veggies are cut, they're cut skinny. It's not like they're huge, so we're gonna do a quick, quick saute. By the way, I'm noticing things. I need a wok, I need an air fryer, I need an Instapot. There's a lot of things I need. I just started a shopping list of crap. I only realize that I don't have you at home until I start doing things. And I'm like, shit, I wouldn't even have some cheese here. While your so veggies are sauteing, I want to do the mushrooms because they do let out moisture and absorb. And I don't want them to get mushy. I want a little bit of color. So you stay. Our veggies got a really good saute. I'm gonna add my greens in now. They cook quick, they will down fast. So, adding my greens right after my greens go down a little bit, I'm gonna put my broth in kind of halfway through it. It's very hard, I'm getting a cardio workout, working my side obliques here. There we go. Perfect. No salt, no pepper, because in my broth, which I did veggie broth, I did equal parts ponzu, soy, a little bit of mirin, and a little bit of white vinegar actually. Put in here, once I got my greens in, two seconds. Greens are pretty much sauteed, pouring my broth on in. Oh yeah. All right, let's get this simmering. Obviously you want it soupy, it's ramen, it's like soup. And then we're gonna put our noodles in and then we will season. Um, I think I have some fresh ginger, but fresh ginger, I'm just gonna create some fresh ginger in here. Okay, adding my ramen. I just, whoa, what's hot? Um, I just cooked it and drained it. I just followed the instructions on the packet. I'm using my little forky thingy, you know, some carbon fork to loosen them up into my broth. I'm using my little, I don't have those fancy chopsticks either. So I'm adding this, using my little carving fork that I use so nice for spaghetti to pull this all together. I'm gonna give you a different angle, different view. Going like this to mix in my noodles into our broth. Full loaded veggie broth with these noodles. Look how delicious this looks. Gonna add in my fresh chopped cilantro. Gonna add some scallions, not all of them, half of them. The green part, um, some, keep them for the garnish. A tongue twisted there. Oh my God, so colorful. So beautiful. Now yes, feel free, poach an egg, put it on top. If you don't want this to be vegan or vegetarian, feel free to add uh, chicken or pork. But I am so excited about this. And our uh, ramen bowl is out. So, chopsticks definitely needed, as well as a spoon. But this looks beautiful, super colorful. Like I said, this is totally vegan and vegetarian. That's a hearty dinner just full of veggies and the ramen noodles and the delicious broth. I'm really proud of myself here. You can't see the inside of my bowl, but I am about to chow down. I'm not very good at chopsticks, but with some ramen. Oh, I'm proud of myself, right on the broth, a little bit of salt, a little sweet, very savory. The mushrooms give it a really good, like, 
that umami flavor, that like really hearty flavor. Pardon myself. Look. 